Hello, this is our white 6x10 single axle enclosed cargo trailer. This is a non V nose, 3 inch square tube frame. We call this our off road trailer base model, and we, we just say that just because of the ground clearance. Most of our trailers have a 4 inch drop axle, so with the straight axle on these, they give you some pretty good ground clearance and then you can do a flip kit on them and you can see you can gain about another four inches and fit uh, 30s or 31s as it sits really good approach angles good for around town also a little bit kind of a pain uh, if you're using this for work if you always had to step up this high the four inch drop axle is is optimal get a lot of questions about the carry-on trailers versus other trailers or, or just different features carry-on does a great job with a lot of the the base package three-quarter floor three-eighths wall 16 on center all of our trailers are upgraded to 030 aluminum skin But now you can kind of see, let's see if I can kind of point it out, maybe the differences. So if you had a keen eye, you can kind of see this is what Curion doesn't really do a super job on. Um, finger painted silicone trim. Of course it's not gonna affect the integrity of the trailer, but um, they put these together so fast that it kind of loses a little bit of sight of some of that work. So you can kind of see there just a little bit of excess sealing. Um, but other than that, if you can get over some of the trim, it's a really good trailer. Kind of see this trailer here. Look at the screws there so when you're looking at a trailer those are things to look at that won't affect the integrity of that skin on there and I can uh, pull that out and put it in straight but those are kind of things to look at when you're looking at a trailer uh, you know, the spacing of the screws and how level they are a little bit harder for them I guess on a taller trailer I put these together so fast again every trailer is handmade so, kind of the downside of a handmade trailer, sometimes there's a little bit of skill required to put the cock in. But other than that, it's a really good trailer. It's pretty easy to clean all that up too. If you need it to, just leave it as is. This is our 6x10 enclosed carry-on cargo trailer. We call our off-road trailer base trailer. We only say that because it's it's a good foundation for a build out for doing a spring swap on it, putting bigger tires or leaving it just like this. You get some really good approach angles. You can even go to town and, and build a, a little adapter for a, kind of a pintle setup on that with a two inch ball and then an adapter if you wanted some even better approach angles. Plenty of room there for wet gear. We're gonna put your gas tank um, or any other type of gear. It's big enough for a motorcycle to go back there too. Ramp, because this trailer is so tall, and it's only a six foot two interior height, it is a very steep angle. Again, some of the things to look at, so here if you can see the skin on here, so it easily could be fixed, um, doesn't harm the trailer, it's just an aesthetic. Still get a three year warranty, that's the approach angle. It's got a transition ramp. 
D-rings, Zerk fittings on the hinges, and those Dexter axles also have Zerk fittings, you don't have to have a, a Dexter axle for that easy lube, 12 months or 12,000 miles, go ahead and squirt those or if you get water that goes up here then go ahead and grease them. Check your lugs. That's about it. Pretty easy trailer to maintain. Great as is. Can't beat the price. $28.50 from Axel Motorsports in Cheyenne, Wyoming.